have a look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? Um, up there is a, uh, a five-story pagoda, and um, this is one of the things that make up the historic monuments of ancient Nara, which is on the World Heritage List. And Japanese people, are, um, and especially people here in Nara, are really proud of this pagoda. But it's time to address the elephant in the room. Come on. Well, this is, uh, this is called Fukuji. It's one of the oldest and most important Buddhist temples in Japan. And welcome back to the Beard of English. And today's expression is the elephant in the room. Well, Kōfuguji Temple was founded in the year 669 in Kyoto and then was moved here to Nara in the year 710 when Nara was established as the capital of ancient Japan. And Kōfuguji was the family temple of the Fujiwara clan who are a very powerful family in ancient Japan. So even today, there still remains loads and loads of beautiful old buildings and works of art. And one of the most important, of course, is this five-story pagoda. Now the pagoda itself was originally built in the year 730, which is almost 1,300 years ago. But due to wars and battles, it's been burnt down five times through its lifetime. So this one here is actually relatively new. This was built in 1426. It's only 600 years old. There are tourists here at almost all times of the year, although right now during the, the coronavirus it's a little bit bare. And this pagoda is one of the most popular places for people to photograph and to photograph themselves in front of. Now as I mentioned, Japanese people, particularly people here in Nara, are very proud of this pagoda. It's a national treasure. And I mean, that's not just what people say. It is an official national treasure. But here's the thing. Here's the elephant in the room. About a hundred years ago, you could have bought this pagoda. You could have bought this entire temple complex for almost nothing. You see, in the 1630s, Japan more or less cut itself off from the rest of the world in what they called the Sakokuji Day. Sakoku means closed country, and Jidai means era or, or period. And for well over 200 years, no one from Japan was allowed out, and almost no one from the outside world was allowed in. And this went on until the second half of the 19th century, until about 1868 really, when a new government was formed. And with that new government came a new era of modernization. And by modernization, most people meant westernization and so a lot of the old cultural traditions were out and that included buddhism thousands of beautiful wooden statues were burnt or destroyed so many paintings just thrown away and this pagoda was one of the things they were prepared to get rid of and most japanese people probably don't know this but this was up for sale for maybe a few dozen yen now fortunately they couldn't find a buyer and then after World War II Japan began to reevaluate its past to reassess its cultural heritage and this this temple this pagoda was restored to its rightful place of respect and that's the elephant in the room that most Japanese people don't want to talk about the way they were so happy to just give away their cultural heritage but what about you what about in your country where you live do you respect the cultural heritage of your country, your city or your town or your local area enough? <laughs>